So I'll give you a quick look at my setup here, the one I put together last year. So you'll notice here's the SSR, the SSR, the uh, Saint Smart eight SSRs. You'll notice the output of each SSR. I have two black lines coming out of each one of them. Um, this actually could be a little bit of overkill, but you'll notice each of the black lines, there's one black line that goes straight down. I'll show where that leads, and then the other black line heads out this direction into my eight outlets. So first off, the black lines that go straight down, all of those are basically connected together. So another thing I could have done is just connected the, the bottom half of all of those, daisy chained them down together, but I decided to send independent lines, all of them together, and I connect all of them inside on this one to the copper terminal. And this is where I have my extension cord coming in from the outside. Notice the extension cord here coming from the outside. It goes into here with the black line connected to the copper. So all of these black lines, the black line from my extension cord and all of these eight black lines here are all connected together and connected into the copper terminals on uh, the outlet. Now the white line is connected on this one. This outlet is always live when I plug in. So the white line is connected to the silver. I didn't break any of the tabs on this particular one. And the white line comes from the silver here. I send the white line across over here. And I take the white and green, and if you can see it in there. You can't really see the colors, but the white is connected to the silver, green connected to ground. And I just daisy chain it, which means I just connect another green line from here to here to here. And finally, to this last one. The last green line is connected there to the end. So a green line connected from here to here to here to here all the way back to my live circuit. Um, that green line is connected to ground and is also connected to the green line in my extension cord. White line, same thing. The white line is connected to the silver terminal, the neutral line on the outlet. It's also connected to the white line on this. And that white line comes in here, connects to the silver terminals. None of the tabs are broken on the silver terminals. I kept them together and it's just daisy chains connect from here to here here to here, and then finally the white line is connected across to that side as well. So that's the white. Now the live circuit, the live wire, I have an independent line now again coming out of each of my uh, SSRs. Each of the relays has a black line coming out into here, and each one of those independently are then connected to the copper terminals. And you'll notice, so I can get that to focus for you, uh, it may not focus, but each of those, there's a separate black line going to each of those terminals and the tab is broken in between. There's one and two, the same thing again over here, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, all on the copper side. So that's the black line coming from the copper side, back down into each SSR, one per each. And again, that black line then would trace back through on the bottom side when the SSR is on, which would connect all the way back over into this side's copper, which is connected to the black line on my extension cord. There you have it. Um, and this is the uh, Raspberry Pi setup I have at the moment. And again, I'm just using the connector here, ribbon connector, connecting in each one on the inputs here. That's really all of the hardware and all of the lines. Got a lot of little extra space in this one. I had, had speakers and other things at one point, but I took them out so I could give you a quick look inside the box. Hope that's helpful. Bye.